Firebase recently rolled out a new phone authentication system. It's not currently supported in Angular Fire 2, but we're going to use the SDK directly to implement phone auth into our Angular 4 app. It works by having the user verify a CAPTCHA, then sends a text message with a verification code to their number. The user then enters this verification code and their auth state will be updated in the app. It's important to point out that phone auth is less secure than other methods, primarily because phone numbers can be transferred between different people. It does, however, work very well with two-factor authentication where you use an additional sign-in method and link the two accounts. Before getting started, make sure you have phone authentication enabled in Firebase. In order to use the CAPTCHA, we'll need to interact with the window object in the browser. It's considered a bad practice to work with global browser objects such as window directly in the component. So we'll extract it out into its own injectable service. It's just a simple TypeScript getter that returns the window object. Now we can start building the phone login component. First, we'll import the window service as well as the Firebase SDK. To make phone number validation a little easier, I'm going to extract it into its own class and break it into four different parts. When we send the number to Firebase, it needs to be an E164 format, which is just a string that starts with a plus sign, followed by the country code, and then the full phone number with no spaces or dashes. From there, we'll set a variable to hold the window reference, and another variable to hold the phone number, another one for the verification code after the user receives the text, and another for the authenticated user. During ng on init, we reference the window, and then we initialize the CAPTCHA on the window itself. The recaptcha container should just be an empty div with that ID in the template. Calling render will replace that div with the recaptcha content. After the user passes the CAPTCHA and enters their phone number, we need to send that number to Firebase to send the user a text message. We do this by calling the sign in with phone number function and pass it the CAPTCHA verifier as well as the phone number in E164 format. This function will return a promise which has the confirmation that the verification code was sent to the user. We set this value on the window reference and then catch any errors at this point as well. If we get a successful confirmation, we want to show the user another form where they can enter the verification code. And the final step is to confirm this verification code is correct, and that will update the auth state in Firebase. And we also catch errors at this point, which would usually be due to an incorrect code being entered. In the HTML, we add an empty div for the recaptcha. And if the user is not authenticated, we show a form to enter the phone number. The form has four different inputs, each corresponding to the attributes in our phone number class. This makes phone number validation a lot easier. For now, we'll just validate the max length of the input. And we can bind each attribute to the ng model directive. From there, we add a button that will allow the user to trigger the process of Firebase sending a text message to their number. And below that, we'll show a div conditionally only if that verification code has been sent. This div will have another form field for the user to enter that verification code and also another button to submit it. After the user submits a valid code, it will update the auth state in Firebase and this entire div will be hidden and then we'll conditionally show this other one saying you've successfully logged in with your phone number. If we go back to the app, we should see everything working as expected. Firebase also has an invisible CAPTCHA, which you can use if you don't want your user to have to go through this tedious recaptcha process. That's it for phone off. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. You'll get access to exclusive content as well as free one-on-one -on -one project consulting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.